This seems to be a dead end. Time to retrace our steps. Construction makes me feeling most perplexed. Judging by the outside, we're going to be here for a while. I left no choice. Press ever onward and up. Destroy. Insufficient output. Neutralize. Warning. Energy levels. You all right? deserve. This area would appear safe. Never thought we'd find a place like this. Sweet! Preparations complete. Halfway up yet? I wonder the same. With my sensors cut off, I can't. 
can't calculate our altitude in here. Just gotta keep going up till there's no more up. <sighs> Looks like a dead end. We should probably try and find another way. <laughs> Insufficient output. Warning, <laughs> these energy levels low. <laughs> Insufficient output. <laughs> Warning, energy levels low. Hmm. 
This area appears removed from commotion. We might find rest here. Insufficient output. One. Energy level. Insufficient output. One. Energy levels low. Enemies up ahead. Careful, Mr. Cleed! We're safe. further this way. So be it. Let us return once we came.
Threat detected ahead. Neutralized. Warning. Energy levels low. Insufficient output. Well, that's over with. Sure is oddly quiet here. We should take the rest we are given chance for. Welcome to your new sovereign's castle. Marvelous, is it not, children of the stars? Bultor. Such a pity, young Gaston. So earnestly devoted to me. He offered himself up, certain his cyber mind would help center the network around its new sovereign. Alas, you have been witness to the truth. How dare you! His life and its conclusion are now shared upon the network. Trivial though it may be, it stands to help bring forth a new era for Scorpium. A cause for celebration. Observing Boldor has provided insight into the problems with Scorpium evolution and integration. Share with me your insights, then. Join me. Let us foster our coming evolution together. My dear, unique Duma, why do you insist on interfering with those who are willing to support my ascension? Boldor. 
or Sovereign, as you call yourself now. After careful observation, we conclude your actions are unconnected to Scorpium evolution and are mere acts of conquest. Such a biased conclusion, one that has kept all Scorpium from greatness for far too long. We must now be more proactive in our push towards evolution. Come, children of the stars. Join our Scorpium network and let us bring prosperity to the universe. I refuse. Ever so stubborn. But the network is rich with records of those even more resistant than yourself, all of whom chose to integrate in the end. Is that not so? You shitting me? Him too? His mind has not yet been fully integrated. However, his fusion runs deep into his body. Valange! Lola awaits your return as we speak. You need not continue this. Your words are wasted. Here stands a man integrated twice fold, fully conformed to our cause. He has chosen to aid me in our quest for a new future for Scorpium. Now, Valange, give our guests some convincing. Nice look. What exactly is your deal in all this? I ventured beyond the point of no return. Nothing more. Gaston is gone. And he was not alone. The people of my homeworld both those who integrated with Scorpium and those who refused. The people of Aster. Many have perished, and yet here I stand. I, who wish to see the planet Veer free from the clutches of Scorpium. Under the Emperor, under our Sovereign, I will one day make it so. I can work through their own network and see Veer liberated from Scorpion. Were I to stray from this path here and now, then all who have died, all their sacrifices will have been for nothing. Valange! The path I take is mine, and mine alone. This is my choice to make. Tell her that for me. Tell them. <sighs> Now draw your weapons, and spare me your words! Stay sharp. I'll show you what it means to stand by your beliefs! Positional tactics in effect. Yeah. 
Consolation might I offer Lola. This was of his own accord. What? He wished for his home planet of Veer to be freed from Scorpium influence. But when it became clear the masses had chosen integration, he and the others were forced to search for other means. This led them to join the centralist cause. Their aim was to promote an evolution of Scorpium kind, which called for a secession from Veer. Evolution through secession. Inconceivable. Yes, impossible even. But still they placed their hopes in such a plan, clinging to the improbable, empowering themselves through integration with their foes. This in and of itself should be sufficient evidence that Scorpium is the future. <laughs> Damn it, Duma. Come on already, get it together. You still trying to figure out how to deal with this guy? Initiate combat with his current form. Final verifications will follow. Ah, great. Not sure why I ever expected a different answer. Still you choose resistance? So be it. Such will only prove to bolster the future of Scorpium. Incoming attack. Initiate emergency measures. We've only go to great path. lengths to assimilate this planet. Assimilate Nilbeth! Oh, but it is not Nilbeth alone. Osarius and Vale will come next. What the power? Why aren't you using it to save lives? Why you fail to see how I stand here to lead all life to salvation? The Pangalactic Federation will serve under your leadership no more. The Federation will one day see me destroy the Scorpion once more. The Virians, the Veil Empire, and you, Goldor. The shit you've caused is more than enough to make even a guy like me start to see why the Fed's UP3 is so important. You of a Goldian. <laughs> what incredible strength! It is a shame to see it wasted. Why must it be you powerful few who refuse so unmovingly to join us? Hey, we aren't finished here! This has been quite an informative encounter. Though I do hope you come to me with a more favorable answer when next we meet. Duma! I thought you were working out a plan. What the hell are we supposed to do? Elena, I request you scan for any remaining traces of life in Boldor. No bio signs. The body appears vacant of his consciousness. He has completed his return to his digital form. You will require my assistance for what follows. Once you are ready, gather together. We have reached a conclusion. To apprehend a Cybermine integrated entity, we must confront them as a like format. Buddy, buddy, your final answer is to force us to integrate? You are correct, in part. Only in a quasi integrated state. Quasi. Recall the training facilities on Parapium. As then, you will be virtually shifted into the same realm of existence. 
Once you enter the network, you will be able to track down the being once known as Boldor and sever him at the source. Did Gaston not fail to accomplish just that? What you ask is beyond most all of us. Thus, virtually. Unlike Boldor, we will not separate the death of the body from that of the mind. This will allow us to infiltrate the network. However, should either mind or body perish, there is no return. Is this quasi-cybermind integration something I too am capable of? By my calculations, yes. Where? How? Here, and now. The Spire itself has functionality similar to an integration plant. Likely in an effort to simultaneously assimilate a greater number of this planet's populace. Okay, so our consciousness is going to be pulled out of us and uploaded onto the Scorpium network? And uh, what the heck happens to our bodies in the meantime? They will remain here. Defenseless, limp, and unconscious. You want us to lose consciousness here? We are in enemy territory. Who among us would dare leave themselves defenseless in such conditions? Princess Leticia, are you safe? Lola? Colonel, he's still... Your Highness, thank you for helping Gaston and the Colonel. I was helpless to save them. I... No, you have. Gaston may be lost to us, but the Colonel... He still lives. Huh, really? All this is our own doing. It was we who brought the Scorpium here, and we who left the Emperor a twisted man. Allow me to atone for our misdeeds, here and now. You will be pursuing the Emperor. I will stand watch here as you enter the network. We are in your hands. Little Duma? Gather together. Commencing digitalization for Scorpium Network Traversal. Cybermind integration? Is this... what all who fuse with the Scorpium see? Ah... This is what it is like to... share consciousness. Each of these streams belongs to... the Scorpium. To us. And Bulldor. What in heavens?! The current is- Please! No! Help! I do not wish to be pulled into Bulldor's stream! Your Highness! Are you unharmed? Oh, Baird! Thank heavens I made it in time! Please follow my lead. I have located a calm place where we may be safe. Are you able to move? Uh, yes. I can move fine. The... streets of the capital? There were... various other locations, but... Within this pandemonium of shared knowledge coursing through the network, the capital appears to be the most stable location to support our existence. Is it due to our quasi-integration? I know not the details, but I assume so, yes. Though I wonder why here of all places. Surely there are an abundance of more memorable and peaceful locations between the both of us? Why, indeed. More importantly, we must seek the next stable foothold somehow, lest the others leave us behind. I remember now. This location is by the very first shop we visited together when we were but children. Do you not recall how we were chastised for sneaking out of the palace? What? 
Oh, yes. See, this was the first time you were ever at the mercy of my reckless insistings. And also... This is the self-same spot where I first spoke my nightly vows. A locale so commonplace, so humble. Oh, wherefore we stand here. This, these streets, this shop, this is where it all began for us. What age were we? In truth, I did not even remember the significance of this place until you spoke of it. Such precious memory. It must be after I had known that you would follow me during my reckless episodes, perhaps. <laughs> Mayhap. Though now I do recall, that was the first time that you, your highness... <sighs> Letty, you put your trust in me. You did not go to Cousin Theo. Instead, you came and requested me to leave the palace with you to go play. Though it was but a trivial gesture, it filled me with such joy. You complain incessantly about my recklessness, but in truth, you enjoy it. Yes, whilst we were children. Oh, such effrontery. I have always been prepared to spend my entire life protecting you, whenever, wherever. Yet, I wish a slight more sympathy to your night's woes. I may consider more kindness to my sharp-tongued knight, for I know you will always accompany me in my foolishness. <laughs> yes, I have steeled myself as such. Well then, Albie, for our next reckless task, we venture to do final battle for the fate of our planet. Indeed, Letty. <laughs> Let us away. My word. Welcome to the Scorpium Network. We have entered a projection of Boldor's deep psyche. Virtual forms? Huh. Hey, is the form I'm seeing of you real? I, too, exist merely as data on the Scorpium Network. It feels... Revealing to have them looking directly at the constructs of our consciousness, does it not? Your consciousness is revealing? I don't get it. <sighs> Ray, please do not stare at me so directly. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. Sorry. I just never heard you say something like that before, you know? Couldn't help it. Which of these paths will take us where we need be? We have no choice but to go by our instincts. The natural laws of the outside world do not seem to apply here. 